Another really whole aspect of that is patient symptoms. We're all familiar with the concept that when you have a heart attack, you know, you grip your chest, you have chest pain. But the symptoms and signs of disease in the elderly are often different than those of younger patients. The symptoms may be more subtle. Somebody may just present with fatigue. They may go to sleep earlier. For instance, congestive heart failure, when a patient's oxygen level is a little low, they may present as delirious or demented. So you have a whole issue that what you may think is a person just getting old, getting senile, may be a fixed cardiac problem, which has something we can do to fix it. Like anything else, there has to be a balance, because one does not want to do is subject somebody who's going through the aging process, a frail elderly person, and then do a whole bunch of tests and do a whole bunch of interventions for no reason. For instance, if you look at somebody over the age of 80, there's a very good chance they're going to have blockages in their coronary arteries. And the way I phrase everything we do in medicine is really two things. We can either make you feel better or make you live longer. That's really the only two things we do in medicine. So if you have somebody who's not really having any symptoms before one does an intervention, you have to say, am I going to really make this person live longer? If I'm not going to make this person live longer, I probably don't need to do drug X intervention Y on the patient. On the other hand, if a patient is elderly, they shouldn't be written off. And a lot of that is really looking what I call their functional capacity. What was this patient doing one to two years ago? If the person's got an inexorable downhill course, there's probably not something I'm going to fix. But the way I describe it is aging is sort of a gradual downstream course. When you hit 70 or 75, you know, you can do less, you tire more, you can't do what you used to. But I tell people, if you're sort of deteriorating at this rate and then all of a sudden you rapidly deteriorate, that's a clue. Maybe there's something we can do to make you better.